Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. <sighs> they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the main farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf <laughs> and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes. I swear. Uh, stop!
Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Und damit willkommen zu Life is Strange 2. Wir sind jetzt in Episode 4 angelangt und Sean erwacht in ein Krankenhaus mit einem verwundeten Auge. Und seine Haare sind wieder kürzer. Was ich eigentlich nicht verstehe, weil ich habe seine Haare extra lang gelassen in der dritten Episode, in der Hoffnung, dass sie weiter wachsen würden, aber sie wurden ihm abgesch abgeschoren, sieht man. Und wie schon bereits erfahren, wird Daniel vermisst und wir wissen nicht, wo er ist. Aber dass Sean noch lebt, ist echt eine Erleichterung. Ich dachte wirklich mit diesen mit die, dieser Glassterbe. Das Tag fühlt sich like every other day. Just like this must be my punishment. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Polizeigewahrsam. Sie haben, müssen uns gefunden haben. Chris? Chris hat geschrieben? Oh mein Gott, also geht's ihm gut. Aber was genau ist passiert? Ist er in Ordnung? Ist er verletzt? Ich hab keine Ahnung. Wer ist Joey? Welchen Brief? Ich kann was zeichnen. Ja, die Sicht ist jetzt auch ganz schlecht, weil sein Auge kann ich kann man gut sehen. So hard to focus. I gotta practice way more. Not giving up. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Hmm. Was soll ich zeichnen? Vielleicht eine Treppe. Find a highway to freedom. Was genau ist in diesen zwei Monaten passiert? Wieso ist Sean im Krankenhaus auf einmal und warum ist dein Polizei gewahrsam? Cassidy's Brief? I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. Moment mal. Cassidy war im selben Krankenhaus wie ich. 
Moment mal, Cassie, die wurde doch gar nicht verletzt. Das verstehe ich jetzt gar nicht. Warum war sie im Krankenhaus? War sie zu Besuch? Nee, da steht Entlassung vor einem Monat. Sie selbst erinnert sich nicht viel, außer die Explosion in Marils Büro und dann ist sie im Krankenhaus bei einer Aufprallverletzung aufgewacht. Hä, hey, Moment mal. Cassie, die wurde nicht verletzt? Das verstehe ich jetzt gar nicht. Moment mal. Habe ich vielleicht den falschen Spielstand? Nee, das kann nicht sein. Ich habe eindeutig den richtigen gel geladen. Komisch. Ich muss gleich nach dieser Folge gucken, ob ich die Entscheidung richtig gemacht habe. Aber ich bin mir sicher, dass ich, dass ich dafür gesorgt habe, dass Cassidy nicht verletzt wurde. Warum steht das dann hier? Oder vielleicht wurde sie ja trotzdem erfasst von der Explosion. Vielleicht war sie ja nicht ganz weg von da. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Aber eigentlich stand da, sie wäre nicht verletzt worden. Gott, und ich dachte, Kerstin, die hasst mich. Also liebt sie mich trotzdem noch? Das ist irgendwie voll erleichternd. Weil ich habe in der letzten Episode eine vollkommen dumme Entscheidung getroffen. Aber Moment mal, irgendwie stimmt, irgendwas stimmt hier gar nicht. Das Tattoo. Ich verstehe das gar nicht. Normalerweise habe ich nach der dritten Episode noch dieses, dieses eine Kapitel nochmal neu gespielt, aber ohne zu speichern. Hat er das doch irgendwie abgespeilt, ohne dass ich es gemerkt habe? Man, this room drives me nuts. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Dein Auge. Wir werden es nie mehr wieder zurückbekommen. Ja. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Maria Elena Flores, Special Agent, Abteilung Seattle. Abteilung Seattle. Aha. Yay! Stupid reality shows. Ich glaube, Sean's, Pers ich glaube, Sean's Persönlichkeit hat sich sehr geändert seit diesem Unfall in Merrills Büro. Oh, kann ich gut nachvollziehen. Er hat ein Auge verloren. Damn. Just wanna get out of here. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Willst du nicht essen? Nein, ich kann da nichts mitmachen. Ja gut, dann rufe ich. Kommt keiner. This must be my punishment. Wir haben nichts. Wir haben rein gar nichts. Unsere Tasche fehlt. Ja, unsere Tasche fehlt. Wo ist das? Wo sind unsere Sachen? Ich habe keine Ahnung. Yo. Wo sind wir überhaupt? Afternoon Checker. Sure. <lacht> Good day, Sunshine. Hey, Joey. 
Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Nine. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Miss. Know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected, so you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Hey, good job. Okay, let's do it again. Fuck. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient entlassen. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. I always hated that game. Well, I know it sucks for you, but <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. He <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. <sighs> what? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison, or you can talk to me. I'm innocent until proven guilty, right? And I believe that. That's why I want you to tell me the whole truth. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way! And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, 
He came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. Sean. Throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Es tut weh, dass ich das jetzt tue. Aber ganz ehrlich, Finn hat uns alle in diesen Schlamassel reingeritten. Es tut mir leid, aber selbst ich und Cassie, die waren derselben Meinung, dass Finn so ein Blödmann war. Es war seine Idee. Es tut mir leid, Finn, aber es stimmt. Du wolltest, dass wir den Safe knacken. Finn, it was his idea to rip off Mero. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? Also, entweder hat er mich gezwungen oder ich habe mitgespielt. Eigentlich habe ich mitgespielt. Yes. I went along. I had to get money for Danny. No choice. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. Your friend is learning the hard way. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Dass ich Finn verpetzt habe, hat Konsequenzen. Sorry, aber Finn, du bist wirklich schuld für alles. Du bist schuld, dass ich jetzt mit einem verletzten Auge hier drin, hier drin sitze und dass Daniel jetzt fehlt. Hättest du diese Sache mit dem Safe nicht in das, in das Leben gerufen, dann würde ich jetzt nicht hier sitzen. Sorry, Finn. At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it blew up. Ja, genau das meine ich ja. Sie war nicht da. Und trotzdem ist da und trotzdem steht in dem Brief, dass sie verletzt wurde. Hä? Das verstehe ich gar nicht. Wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Jetzt sag nicht, dass er noch lebt. Ich dachte, er wäre gestorben durch diese durch diese Explosion. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. What? No. Nein. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you gonna find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. 
Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Bin ich das wirklich? Ich habe einen Raubüberfall mitgespielt. Ich habe Daniel verloren. Ich habe dafür gesorgt, dass mein Vater erschossen wurde. Und außerdem habe ich noch dafür gesorgt, dass ein unschuldiger kleiner Junge vors Auto sprang und getötet wurde. Ne, nicht... Boah, wow, bin ich, bin ich pessimistisch. Natürlich lebt er noch, bin ich blöd. Und er wurde verletzt, weil ich die Wahrheit verschwiegen habe. Bin ich echt ein guter Junge? Das denke ich nicht. But I'm not. I've done too many mistakes. I let everybody down. I lost Daniel. And I'm going to Juvie. This is all bullshit. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I could tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Warte, was? Glasauge? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know, I do, but I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. <sighs> Joey, you are her boss. Hmm. Hmm? What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. Huh? Dein Skizzenbuch? 
Boah, hat er das her? Lass dich mal lesen. Hm. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait. What's that? Haven Point, Nevada. Moment mal. Haven Point, Nevada. Vielleicht könnten wir nach Jacob suchen. Vielleicht weiß er, wo er ist. Ich kann nicht weiterlesen. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. Sacred Hope Hospital. Ja, klar. Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Bevor wir das machen, werde ich hier stoppen. Ich hoffe, ihr habt bis hierhin die Episode genossen. Ich werde euch jetzt auch nicht auf die Folter spannen. Aber ich werde dieses Video jetzt hier beenden und werde es hochladen. Und dann... Hoffentlich werden wir in der nächsten Episode von ihm verschwinden können und uns dann auf die Suche nach Jacob machen, der uns vielleicht mit Daniel helfen kann. Also, hoffe ich mal, ihr seid dann auch wieder dabei und wir sehen uns im nächsten Video wieder. Bis zum nächsten Mal, Leute. Bis dann.